We're taking on Crystal Palace away from home in today's video. The last time we faced the Eagles, we broke a Premier League record and we beat them 12-0. I'm not expecting the same sort of thing today, but hopefully we can get three points. Also today, uh, we've got um, a few games from off camera that we've got to go through, including some cup games, the FA Cup and the EFL Cup. And we have a new right winger to show you that we're paying £200,000 a week for. So if you like the sound of that and if you're enjoying the series, drop a like down below and leave comments. They are the best ways to support the channel. And if you haven't done so already or if you're new, then do subscribe and turn notifications on so you don't miss any uploads. Let's jump into today's video. Hopefully we can get a win against Crystal Palace and we might give a debut to our new winger. We'll wait and see. Welcome back to the channel, my name is Abom and welcome back to Football Manager 2022 and the Arsenal save Crystal Palace, the opponents today who have picked up just 5 points and are looking like they might get the lowest points tally in Premier League history, uh, will they be able to beat Derby's record low? Uh, that remains to be seen, but hopefully we'll get three points today. Last episode, we had a double live con with title implications as we took on third place Man City and then leaders Liverpool. We unfortunately lost 1-0 to Man City with Harlan getting a second half goal. But we beat leaders Liverpool 1-0 with an Isaac goal two minutes from time. Aubameyang had a penalty early on that hit the woodwork, but we managed to get three points against Liverpool for the first time this series. Transfer news, we know that Lokonga has gone to Burnley, that's been finalised and he has played three games for them. Nicola Pepe's also gone on loan to Leicester for the rest of the season. We are still paying uh, a chunk of his wages, uh, we're still paying about 100000 or just under 100000 Leicester are paying a bit of um, money every month and they're paying 42 k a week. So we've got some of the money off the wage bill, he's going to hopefully get some football. So that has paved the way for us to buy a new right winger and this was a difficult one. I was looking at right wingers from like La Liga and because they have such big release clauses the teams were like saying no we don't want any more than like a hundred million pounds it was absolutely ridiculous like I, I couldn't find one that I could actually afford because they were just pricing me out of it thankfully though we did find a right winger here he is Usman Dembele He's joined the club on a four and a half year deal from Barcelona 25 years old I think we are going to have to wrap him in cling film because he is injury prone, as uh, as is well known. He's come from Barcelona for thirty million pounds. It's ten million up front, twenty over two years. He's on two hundred thousand pounds a week, which is much down from his three fifty he was earning at Barcelona. And yes, he is injury prone. Past couple of years, his development has really been hampered by injuries. Like past few years, he could have been such a good player, and unfortunately, injuries have just got the better of him. So hopefully, he can recapture some of that uh, ability here at Arsenal. I'm confident he can do well for us. I'm not sure if he'll play today against Palace because he is just recovering from an ankle problem. Surprise, surprise. But um, hopefully we'll see him soon and hopefully he does well for us. We played five games off camera, including FA Cup and EFL Cup matches. Let's see what happened. Sula to Maitland-Niles. Got a bit of space here. Isaac can look to make a run. He does make a run. It's a good one. He's onside and he puts the ball past the goalkeeper. Arsenal lead with nine minutes on the clock. Odegaard with the corner kick and Sula wins the header. Sula puts the ball in for 2-0, 15 minutes gone. Arsenal starting this game very strongly. Here's Pedro Neto to Raul Jimenez. Neto with it back again here. Goes to Semedo who's going to keep coming forward here. And he uh, keeps it away from Saka. Moutinho to Jimenez and Orta makes it 2-1. Gets a goal back for Wolves. Ricardo Horta with a goal, 37 minutes gone. It's 2-1. He doesn't get the cross away. Goes back to Kieran Tierney. His Gilmore. Party to Odegaard. Billy Gilmore has got a goal on his debut. 65 minutes coming up. It's 3-1. And Billy Gilmore on his Arsenal debut gets the goal. Tomas to Dendonka. Johnny. And Tomas sets up Jimenez. And Wolves get a goal back again. It's 3-2. Arsenal can't shut them up. And there's about 10 minutes to go. Is there time for Wolves to say something here maybe? Here's Tierney. Coming forward, looks to find Isaac, but doesn't quite come off. And Arsenal threatening very early on here. We're only about 30 seconds in. It's Tierney. That's a great cross. And it's Smith Rowe with a goal. It's his first of the season. He's had a very poor season. About 40 seconds in, it's 1 0 Arsenal. And Kulu's clearance wasn't a good one. It's Maitland Niles. And it's a Smith Rowe. He's opened his account for the season at last. It's a short cross, but it's not a bad one. And Guiduzzi heads the ball in from the Udegaard wayward effort. Arsenal lead 2-0 inside five minutes. 
Maitland Niles, short free kick to Odegaard. Here's Torreira to Isaac. Winduzi gives the ball back to Isaac and he beats the keeper. It's a third, 22nd minute. Arsenal 3 0 up, absolutely flying in this uh, cup match. Odegaard with the corner kick, headed away by a Kong. Here's Saka. And Saka going to go all the way here and he puts the ball in it for a fourth. 34th minute, it's already 4 0 Arsenal. Could this be another record breaking game? We'll wait and see. Throw in with Tierney to Smith Rowe. Second minute of stoppage time here in the first half, and it's 5 0. Isaac gets the ball in it for his second, and Arsenal lead 5 0 before half time. Odegaard to Smith Rowe. Isaac. That's a smart ball from Maitland Niles on that overlap. Smith Rowe. Isaac on the hat trick. He gets his hat trick, and it's 6. Fourth minute of stoppage time, it's 6 0. Isaac gets it back as a good block by Mepham. Sakala puts it back in for Isaac and he gets the goal. 41st minute, Arsenal lead at the Vitality Stadium. Not a good ball there and it's given away. Here's Ryan Christie and here's Adam Smith. And Bournemouth looking to try and get back into this game here. Christie, Lacazette back to Smith. And it's a really good play here by Bournemouth from that equalised 52nd minute. Ryan Christie gets the goal and it was some nice football by the Cherries. Free kick here for Man City. Jack Grealish on it. He's bent it around the wall. Good save by Ramsdale. Bernardo Silva with the corner kick. And it's Fernandinho and City lead with about a minute to go in the first half. Gabriel to Gilmore. Back to Gabriel. Here's Lucas Torreira to Odegaard. And that's a good ball for Aubameyang. Can he beat the goalkeeper? He's put it back for Smith-Rowe. Smith-Rowe scores. Four minutes gone. Arsenal lead at Bramwell Lane. Smith-Rowe with his first league goal of the season. Tierney throw into Saka. Yenel can't deal with it. Odegaard sends through Aubameyang. And he's beaten the goalkeeper to the ball. And doubles the lead in the 34th minute. Pierre-Emerick Aubameyang with his 14th for the season. Yenel. Back to Taylor again. And some good play here by Sheffield United. And it's Brewster. Really well set up by Yanel. Brewster can't miss. Sheffield United get a goal back. Shashua finds Rian Brewster. Can he beat the goalkeeper? He's been forced out wide here. And it's uh, Nelson going in for the ball. But he caught Shashua. That was dubious. It looked like Nelson got the ball there. But they're checking for a penalty. Well, I think that was a dubious penalty shout. But it's been given. And Rian Brewster in the 91st minute here could save a point for the Blades. And he does. Sheffield United 2, Arsenal 2, with a minute played to stop his time. So I did say at the end of last episode that we had um, a good run of fixtures. We still do. We've got Palace who are bottom, and then we've got Newcastle who are 16th. They've uh, climbed up a few places, it seems. And the Wolves were 14th. We've got a favourable run of fixtures. Dropping points against Bournemouth from Sheffield United, that might cost us. We're out of the uh, EFL Cup as Man City beat us 1-0 at Wembley. It wasn't a great performance by us, um, but Man City threw to the final. And in the FA Cup, we knocked out Wolves. In the fourth round, we're going to Goodison Park to take on Everton. But looking at the league table, we have dropped some points, and that has seen Liverpool go eight points clear now, uh, with Man City four points ahead of us. So, uh, yeah, we've dropped a few points, and that has allowed Liverpool to uh, jump ahead a bit more. Since losing to us, Liverpool have won six on the bounce, including putting four past Fulham and Leeds. And Man City have not lost a competitive match since the end of October, so they are on a very good run. So against Palace here, this is a must-win game, really. Amazingly, Patrick Vieira is still in charge, despite them picking up just five points. In team news, we've got no injuries, but we do have a lot of people carrying knocks. Martinelli, Barboza, Dembele, Ceballos, Benjamin White, Bernd Leno, all carrying knocks. I think some of them will be fit to play, but but just might not be able to last the whole match. Tommy Asu had a really poor game against Man City, but we're going to bring him back in today. The fixture congestion had just meant a lot of tiredness. Isaac is not fit to play either, so uh, we really only have a Bamiang as our available striker. Barboza could probably play if we need him. I think Barboza will be fit to at least feature. Gilmore's uh, done pretty well, got a goal on his debut and hasn't really put um, a foot wrong. Um, Party has kind of dipped in form. Shaka hasn't really done too much this season. Brooks had a decent game where he got the goal earlier in the season. But past three games just really has disappointed. So, uh, there should be three points against a really poor Crystal Palace side. But, um, yeah, we need to make sure that we, we stay on them and just make sure we don't do anything silly. We've dropped some silly points in those games against Bournemouth and Sheffield United. Can't be affording to do the same here. Of course, the reverse fixture... Uh, it was 12 goals to nil. Tommy Asu gets a header on target, but it's cleared. 
And part of the reason that Palace lost 12 minutes is that they had a red card inside four minutes. Sula with their header over there. Here's Torreira and Smith Rowe. Saka, oh, Saka needs to get that on target. <laughs> he could have let it drop and probably could have shot. But I think by this point in the reverse game, I think we were three or four nil up. So it just shows you just how like relentless we were in that reverse fixture. But so far, we've yet to actually score a goal. And Tyrick Mitchell has found Mateta here. It's a good save and a good block by Gabriel, though. I mean, if Palace beat us, then that's embarrassing. We lose to a side that's picked up just five points all season. And here's Jose Tutti. He was the man that got sent off in that reverse fixture. His odds on Edouard. Jose Tutu back to uh, Gremel. Kachibu. I don't know these players. I don't know a lot of these players, but Palace actually knocking the ball about at the back here. And Tyrick Mitchell coming forwards. And it's a good cross and a good save there by Ramsdale. He puts it onto the post. How have we not... I don't know how anyone scored yet. This has been a disappointing first half by us. Aubameyang, 6.3. He hasn't done anything. And that's a problem considering all of our other strikers aren't fit. Saka flies it over the bar. Skies it over the bar. Okay, half time. Uh, not good. Not good enough. Aubameyang needs to be getting more involved. And he just isn't. Let's try a deep line forward. Let's drop him a bit deeper. Try and get him a bit more involved. Because he's had nothing so far. If anything, Palace have probably looked more likely to score. And if they get any sort of point against us, I ain't going to be happy. Because these guys really are bad. You know, they're conceding four goals to the likes of Norwich. And at the moment, we haven't been able to put one goal past them. I'm going to bump it up to attacking just to try and see if we can get a goal soon. We've got a corner here, though. 52 minutes gone. It's Udegaard. And it's headed away by Mateta. Gabriel will check. Deary me, Gabriel. What are you doing? Doan has got a free run towards the goal. He's missed it. But Gabriel there has... Ab he just... I don't know what he's done there. That was bad. Switch for Bukayo Saka. That's a good touch for Gilmore. Saka straight into the hands of Guaita. It was a 2-2 with a throw in right by the corner flag. It's crossed and it's headed by Mateta. Here's Reed Wild. And Zaha has scored for Crystal Palace. Uh, <laughs> oh, there's no way they win this. They've got five points all season. This is the one of the worst teams in Premier League history. And they're ahead against Arsenal. I've got to berate. And I've got to take a Bamiang off because he has done fuck all today. Barboza's coming on. Uh, also, Smith Rowe's coming off, and uh, Brooks is going to come on. Don't be losing this match, Arsenal. Come on. You're better than this, and you know it. Gilmore to Torreira. Odegaard. Odegaard gets it back. He's got a sight of goal here. Just takes too much of a touch, though. Goodness sake, guys. Come on. Sort it out. Odegaard with it again here. Aubameyang. He's about to come off for Barboza. Odegaard's been forced out wide here. Tomiyasu. Smith Rowe. Saka at the far post. He's hit the post. He's hit it. Jesus. Come on, another chance here. Gilmore. Tierney. If we don't score in this game, I'm going to be absolutely furious. I really can't believe this. This is happening. Saka. Smith Rowe. There we go. He's about to come off. But actually, no. Let's... Uh, Let's give him let's let's give him a chance to stay out there. He's just got the goal, so we can stay out there for a bit longer. But this really isn't good enough. We've managed to get a goal back and equalise, but there's still 20 minutes to go here. Deary me. I mean, that was a great ball by Gilmore to Saka. And then Smith Rowe managed to put the ball in from the tight angle, which is you know, it was a good finish, but we need to be doing better than this. Let's go back to positive because I'm a bit worried that Palace might get another goal. And here's Zaha. But Gabriel. Deals with that quite easily. Don't give it away again. Whatever you do. Please don't. <laughs> Sula. Oh. These guys are bottom with five points. How are we not even beating them? We were behind. That's a terrible ball by Odegaard. Who's had a good game, but that wasn't great. And Mateta's through here. No way. I can't believe this is happening. These guys have five points. How are we letting them do this to us? Like, really? Tomiyasu wants more football, but he's playing terribly. 
He's been asking for more first team football, but he just isn't deserving it based on what he's doing at the moment. As Barber, is that Barber Rahman had a shot there that was saved by Ramsdale? Brooks sends it long. Barboza should get to this first, but he's got a lot of work to do. And he goes back to Brooks. Brooks to Tomiyasu. Oh, it did actually take off um, Smith Rowe in the end. I can't believe this is happening. Like, I really can't. 82nd minute. Odegaard with a corner. Headed away by Umyara. I don't know who these players are. Like, I don't know who Palace has signed, but they're not good. They're really bad, but somehow they're beating us. Barboza, come on! I, I'm right. I've got to wait and see if this is given or not. Oh, it's been disallowed. I, could, oh. I can't believe we're in the last 10 minutes here and we're losing to Crystal Palace. It was offside. I mean, I said that dropping silly points is going to cost us. And at the moment, it's costing us a title push. We were we were in the hunt for a title this season. We were keeping up with uh, City and Liverpool. We're now eight points behind Liverpool. And after this, we could be as many as 11 behind if Liverpool continue to win, which they seem to be doing so. Here's Barboza trying to save something for us here. Brooks. Brooks again. Tomiyasu, who's had a really bad game. That's a good cross though, but Anderson with a header away. It's Torreira. It's Odegaard. It's Brooks. We're going to get a, a, a free kick. He was offside. And here comes the time wasting because, of course, we've got one more change we can make. What can, we don't have any other strikers. What are they expecting us to do here? Gilmore for, I don't know, Nelson. Man City won 5 0. We can't be. We beat these guys 12 0. How has that happened? I'm throwing the bottle after that because that's not good enough. I'm sorry. that That's actually made me mad. These people have paid money to play football. I don't know what they were doing out there. We've got a game in hand over Man United, but we're now level on points with fourth place. We're just six ahead of Chelsea in fifth. If this continues, we're going to drop out of the top four. Too harsh on the team during your team talk. You just lost to a side that have got five points. They've got eight now. We've just given them three points. The only other team that's done that this season, I think, was Everton. How have, we, how have we lost that match? How have we lost that match? Look at that match momentum. We were all over them in the first half. That's not good enough. 13 attempts inside the box. We score one goal. That's, if Isaac was up front, he just scored another five goals today. But he's just too tired at the moment. I just don't know what he was doing in that game. Uh, he's, I don't, just don't know what he was doing in that game like this is his last season he is leaving at the end of the season because i'm not signing a 33 year old to a new contract and also this is the last season i'm doing on youtube but yeah that needs to be better and hopefully we'll have isaac back soon hopefully barbos will be back to fitness because yeah that was just unacceptable the fact that we've like almost half of palace's points have come from us that's ridiculous we're on a really good like 11 match on beating run in the league and we've failed to win our last four games. So that's a problem. Newcastle are up next at home. If we don't win that match, then we've got a problem. So Newcastle are so with all their millions and millions of pounds. They're in 15th place. They've sacked Brendan Rodgers and Leonardo Jardim's in charge. We don't win that match. We've got a problem. And also, we've hit a, a bad patch of form. And we've got RB Leipzig coming up in the Champions League. We need to steady the ship by then. Otherwise, we might be looking at Champions League ex exit to the Germans. We also host Chelsea and play Man United in the two games prior to that. So the next four games, we need to pick up some points because pick, getting three points or even one against Chelsea and United, it's going to be tough. We need to be beating Newcastle. We need to be beating uh, West Ham, who are in 10th place. And those Wolves games and the Everton game as well. So we, hopefully we can get points there. But next episode, we've got the Champions League uh, knockout stages getting underway and we go to Germany to take on RB Leipzig. Anyway, guys, that's going to do it for today. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed it, drop a like down below and leave comments. And if you haven't done so already or if you're new, then do subscribe and turn notifications on. Just a little bit mad that we lost that match. <laughs> They've got eight points this season and we've given them three of them. I can't believe we lost that match. This is a team that we beat 12-0 in the reverse fixture. They are one of the worst teams the Premier League's ever seen and we lost to them because of course we did but hopefully we can get some better results in those next few games and take some form into those Champions League knockout stages but anyway guys that's going to do it for today thank you for watching and I'll see you soon goodbye <laughs>